So, to open things up here with the legend of Robin Hood. Well, it's Robin Hood's movement. What can he do? Um, he basically has two things he'd love to do. He could run off and quickly rally uh, some merry men, get himself some troops. That would be wor that would be the safest of options, I think. But it's more impressive to start adding people. And I looked up the list and now lost it again. But both Little John and Will Stutley are people who can recruit. I don't know if Friar Tuck is. Um, so he wants to maybe get one of them so that he can increase his speed of recruitment of men and he can recruit leaders for the most part. Well, he can't reach Stotley. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's only got six movement points. He can reach Little John. Little John's a problem because Little John requires a roll on the table. Absolutely imperative that he has to make sure that he is outside of reach of the King's troops to do this. Um, that still doesn't make it uh, completely safe, but I think that grabbing Little John is the most valuable thing he can do, and probably what he needs to do. So two, three, four, five, six into there. You'll notice the terrain effect forest costs two. Knights can't enter, which is kind of cool too. Now, if I had the sequence of play on a little sheet of paper, which I probably once did, my ex-wife used to write out sequence of play, and I think we played this. Uh, but anyway, I don't. So there's no combat, no robbery. We go to recruitment, and we roll a die on the Little John table. And we got a good roll. We recruited Little John. Great. Okay, so now we can start playing. Now, this could have been very bad, though, with a failure. Uh, because Robin wouldn't be allowed to move if he was wounded on the next turn. Okay. No hanging. Now we're on the sheriff's phase, and we roll a die. Random event. Five. That means we're going to have a traveler. I'm going to have to look up the traveler rules, because... I hate dealing with this rule book, so I didn't explain them to you. And now I have to see where they're heading, etc., because I'm actually applying it. But I can find out on a five or a six, I've got a bishop. That much I remember. Yay, I'm going to have a bishop. And I rolled a five, so he's coming in an area five. I just don't know where he's going. But I have to take the uh, sheriff player turn. I don't know how fast he's going. Is it one or two spaces? I don't know. Okay, so he's got to move three boxes, one, two, three, towards box one. Everybody goes to box one except for box one, which goes up to road segment three. He's on his little way. Now the sheriff gets to go. Now remember, the sheriff doesn't need leaders to move his units. But leaders provide a bonus for units. One, two, three across the bridge, and I'll bring the Sheriff of Lincoln with them. Let's see what we can do. One, two, three, one, two, three. I want to get those men at arms into play as quickly as possible. And I have this forest unit. Two, three, four, five. I'm not going to be on the road. I want to make things actually, I want to get some depth of in, into these woods so that I can deal with Robin if he uh, pushes deeper into them. So now I've gotten a lot of positions here. What I haven't done is I haven't set up to tax. I probably should do that instead with at least a couple of these units. All right, let's see. Okay, taxation phase. I roll one die and consult the tax table for each village. Great. I didn't realize that. Okay, let's do the Sheriff of Lincoln's tax. He gets me nothing. And I gotta not roll on the board, I think, because the board is so fragile that it knocks things all over the place. Uh, and I get one mark from up here 
Now, I have to be careful at Nottingham. I have to be careful because it's going to be damn hard for me to remember when I take my breaks. Hey, did I tax here? Did I take tax there? I'll probably use some little excess counters or something to remind me. Or dice or something. I don't know. All right. Well, that's pretty much the end of the turn. We push forward. And we're back on Robin. I'll think about him for a moment. Well, that initial mustering of Little John... Now I can send Little John up one, two, three, four, five, and he'll be able to muster these men. But now with Robin, I'd love to go to Will Stutley and muster him. But I got these King's Foresters in my way, and I can't really get that far. Other options? Well, I could get to Munch, and that would be in range of these troops, so that's not a good idea, even though I don't have to fight Munch. I still, I don't gain much from him, first of all. He can't recruit units. But also, I can't, uh, I don't have any troops to defend myself. I want some troops. I'll go here, and we'll just recruit ourselves a couple merry men for the turn. That gives us the ability to start interacting, really, too. So it's kind of a nice thing. Um, now... I think we're over on the uh, sheriff's turn, right? Yeah. And we roll a random event for the turn. It's a one. That means we'll be coming in on road one. And we got to roll again and see what. This time it's just a noble. And now I can move the sheriff's units again. One, two, three. Am I in danger? One, two, three, four, five. Not yet. So I don't need to protect this one. But this one, one, two, three, is in danger. And I don't want him to be robbed. So I've got to figure out what I can get to him. One, two, three. I can't get that. One, two, three. I can't get the sheriff's troops. All I've got is these king's foresters. They're not the best thing in the world by any means. But... They're what I've got to defend myself. By the way, if they get knocked out, they come back. Um, oh no, not the King's Foresters. Uh, only men at arms will come back some, I think, four turns later or something as reinforcements. Okay, now, what do I do with these other forces? Well, one, two, three. I can put the sheriff down here where he's still kind of affecting things. See, that means Will's going to be available, though, and that's where Robin's going to go, probably. One, two, three. Get some more forces on the road there. This is just a... a it's a tough situation always uh, for... And I can't get the Sheriff of Lincoln down there in time. Conceivably, I could just abandon that noble and let him be killed or, or robbed but I don't know <laughs> I don't like to do that for some reason okay no taxation this turn because I'm just not in place for it and I remove these now one thing I'm doing you know I don't want to move uh, he came from here I think one one, two, three. Yeah, he came from here. One, two, three. We're going to move him down further. The reason being, I want the sheriff in a position uh, to recruit Guy. I'm not doing much if I can't stop him from getting to Will. Munch is less important. Troops out there are less important. So I want to make sure I'm getting something of my own because I'm just blocking a route that Robin's not going to take anyway, I think. All right, I think that's the end of turn two. All right, so here we go. Um, Robin is going to march right in to deal with Will Stotley. He really wants to get him in another uh, mustering force on the board as quickly as possible, and that'll help with that. Now, the question is, does Little John want to attack this? And I've decided to go for it. Among other things, you get to see the combat this way. If we look at the sequence of play, that is the next thing in line. So, Little John has a two 
on his missile attack, whereas the King's Foresters have a one. Let's roll for Robin first. You know, I could be using two different colored dice. I'll think about that later. Um, Robin's group, they missed. They needed a high number to hit. And the King's, and I checked on the road to make sure there is no terrain effect for it. Uh, we don't get a hit either way. So now we go to the melee phase. And for melee, they're equivalent. They're both ones. So I'm attacking at a one-to-one. -one. But... Oh, they don't mention it here. Which means there may be other stuff hidden places. Leaders add a bonus in combat. Effect of leaders in combat. Uh, add one to archery die roll if Robin Hood's in the hex. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Um, but otherwise, it's one on the melee either way. So, there's going to be a plus one or something. Yeah, plus one to the die roll for the Robin Hood leader. He gets a four. That's an exchange. Each side loses a unit. Now these are going to be coming back at some point. I have to check when. I don't think that little John can rob uh, the noble there. I'll have to... Uh, a robbery. Yeah, let's move this to some place where we can actually read it. Um... Yeah, it requires a, a merry man in order to do it. All right, well, and you can see how pleasant this rule book is for me. And I can't imagine it being terribly useful for anyone. The fact that you do have to look up some things makes it a problem. So now, after the robbery, we're on the recruitment. Will Stutley's an automatic. We just get him, and he's in with the group. Uh, and he can go rally, recruit... Uh, merry men somewhere and start doing stuff. Uh, but now we go over to the good sheriff phase. We gotta roll a random event for him. We got a three which means road number three is gonna be active. That will go to one as most of them do. And it ends up being another noble. Now, let me take a drink. We, uh, we're in this interesting position where we can deal with Little John. Um, so let me move. These guys have to move. One, two, three. Little John can't stop this. But here the thing is, I'd like to capture him. That sounds like a pretty good idea. I can't quite reach with troops with this, and I can't reach with this. He's going to get away. He was in a good location. Well, that's a shame. Um, what I'd like to do is maybe tax, if I can, so I can move that there to tax. Move this here because Robin could reach these. He can't reach these others. One, two, three. I can't reach there. I could go back and tax here. Oh, I don't know how valuable it is to tax uh, as compared to getting my stuff in place. I don't want to just have money. So I'm going to put myself down here. That gets me in a position where I can harass little John if he tries to do anything in that area. All right. Uh, there's no combat. There is a taxation phase. Let me drop a marker here on that table. And we get a buck. Hey. Great. Okay. And that looks like it. Now I have to figure out what happens with those merry men and the, uh, well, the king's foresters are dead. They go in my bag. They're gone for the game.
All right, I'll put them in there for now. But the Merry Men come back, and I don't know, I think they come back immediately, and I roll a die to see which of the Merry Men spot they show up in. But I'll check to make sure. Okay, actually, that happens immediately um, at the moment when they're killed. So we go to Area 1. It's, it's possible you could end up re-recruiting someone in the right area. And we got to hunt that down. Oh, I can't read in this light. That just says Merry Man. Wow. Well, this says five, four, maybe. There's six. Two. Three. One. Maybe that one only is a starting location and they don't come back. But now we got two over there, which means Robin can head out this way and grab those without having to worry about uh, you know not having troops and then Will can keep his troops and maybe do something in this area of a more military nature or vice versa but sending Robin this way makes sense because I get munch if I land on him and the, the like. I'm gonna uh, yeah I'm gonna load this one up because I finished the sheriff's turn and he'll be getting some men-at-arms I don't know quite where they show up. I'll look it up at the moment, at the time when they show up. 